What's up, you guys? I'm Rachel Demita here in Philly to hang out with Monet Davis. Monet, Monet Davis. Davis. Monet Davis. Monet Davis. It's over. A complete game for Monet Davis. I am super excited to meet Monet. And here she is. Hey. Hi. Good to see you. Nice to see you. You're now in your senior year of high school. Yeah. Um, what sports are you playing this year? Um, I'm doing soccer, basketball, and softball. I play shortstop, so I get a lot of action there. I actually played softball and basketball too. I played mm -hmm. third base. Oh, okay. So, can't play there. I no. can't play. No. You're really close to the batter. I can't batter. do that. It's kind uh -oh. of scary, right? Can't do that. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm at lunch now with Monet and I'm gonna flip the camera around because I want to try to get the inside scoop of what goes down at school lunches. All right, so <laughs> these are my friends that I play baseball with uh, pretty much every day. So these are some of the guys I've known pretty much like my whole life. So are these guys like your big brothers? Or well, do like, you act like the big sister to kind of all of them? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. No. That's not true at all. If we ask all their parents, all their parents would call me the mom of the group. I take care of these kids. I make sure when they're, listen, when their parents aren't around, I make sure that they have everything that they need. I make sure that they're good. Who has the best shoe game at the table? Yeah, I have the best style too, so. Who has the coolest Instagram follower? Me. Drake follows me. Sometimes he'll like my pictures. So how's everything going to change after senior year? They're going to miss me. It's going to be a, yeah, very, I'm, it's it's gonna be a very emotional moment. Like, it's been so long. I've never so long. I don't think it'll be that emotional. Like, I feel like we'll see each other kind of often, but like it won't be the same. No more lunch. Are you done? No more jokes today? <laughs> I'm here at the gym now to watch Monet practice and I'm excited to see her with her teammates and hopefully I get to catch up with some of them as well. Monet is one of the most calm and collected teenagers I think I've ever met. Not much seems to bother her. She seems super confident in herself and I think her friends really love that. And she also just has like a really kind heart. So describe Monet when she's on the court. She's a leader, hands down. She's communicating, she's like picking us up, she's doing everything that the definition of a leader would do. As a teammate, she's like really kind to everyone. She picks them up when they're down. Like She's always cheering them on, even if she's on the court, off the court. She's just always there for everyone. How has she handled the pressure? Has there been any more pressure like since now she's in the spotlight? She has absolutely no worries. You can tell her anything, and she's like, yeah, okay, whatever. And just goes on about her, and you're going like, you serious? <laughs> just told you the moon is falling out the sky, and you're just like, okay. I just think Gimone is a very stable, constant person. You know, our, our playoff game last year, the championship game, went into extra innings. It was a nerve-wracking game, but she's always composed, and I feel like she just is even keeled. So I know she has a lot of guy friends. And, and the guys have said she's, you know, she's one of the guys, she's like our sister. Is she also one of the girls though? Yeah. Whenever she's all dressed up, like for her like shows and stuff, we always like send her all these texts, like typing her up and stuff. <laughs> Did you worry about being on the cover of magazines and national TV? Any of that kind of, I don't know, like ruining a, a normal childhood? Um, a little bit, Yeah. a little bit. It's just knowing who she was and how she was took the worry away. Honestly, if it was one of my other kids, I'd have been like, oh Lord, here we go. I finally got a chance to sit down and chat with Monet one-on-one. -on -one. So what about moving on after high school? Do you want to play sports in college? Um, yeah, I do want to play uh, sports in college. Um, I was debating on which sport I was having more fun with. Was it still basketball or was it softball now? I thought about it, I talked to a lot of people and I was just like, I think I'm having more fun with softball. Like I think that's the way to go. 
you only get that college experience once. Yeah. You know. What do you want to study? Communications. Yeah. I want to have like my own TV show. Yeah. Yeah, like a sports type thing. What's a program that you like to watch now? Um, like I watch like Jimmy Fallon, like when he does like his old games and like uh -huh. Ellen, like when they do their games, like something like that, but like more with sports. Yeah. So what's a bucket list? item for you well like one goal that I want in life is to like get like a deal with Nike like that's my dream right there have yeah. your own signature shoe yeah that'd be nice I think you got a pretty good chance mm -hmm. if I do say so myself thank you <laughs> I appreciate it after practice Monet and I met up with her friends for some bowling all right guys how good is Monet at bowling <laughs> I'm better than every single one of them. Lies, lies, lies. I guess we're gonna have to see tonight. Better block! <laughs> what has it been like seeing your friend kind of become a superstar and be on the front of magazines and on TV and... Uh, it's awesome. I mean, I'm so happy for her. And, you know, she always is humble and Always being herself, she hasn't changed herself one bit. Thirty X is up. What it? With all the interviews, she's always so laid back. Also on the basketball court, she's always keeps her composure at all times. Oh yeah. How would you describe her okay, off the field? She's generous. She's intelligent. Uh, she's consistent. She's funny. She has. She has juice. As you can see. I just gotta move up right into a strike. Let's see what Rad has. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Monet wanted to show me Philly before the night ended, so we grabbed some hot drinks and walked around the city of brotherly love. We're in Love Park in Philadelphia. Um, it's we're... now called Christmas Village. Oh, I'm, I apologize, it's called Christmas Village. We're in a big present right now. Yeah, a big present, you know, something nice. Hopefully I get a present this big one day. But filled with sneakers, I want sneakers piled up to the top. That's all I care about. All right, Monet, so I know that you <laughs> are wanting to host your own show at yeah. some point in the future. So I thought you could have some practice on me. I could be your first guest. All right, do I need to get, in? I'll give you a little introduction. Okay, cool. How you doing? I'm Ray Davis from The Moment Show. I'm here with a special guest, Rachel DeVita. I'm gonna be asking her a few questions. So let's start off with this. Throughout your sports career, what was your most embarrassing moment? So I think my most embarrassing, but also my most heartbreaking um, it was a softball championship game and I was playing third base. Girl hits a hard grounder and I come up with my glove like too short and it mm -hmm. went between my legs. Yeah. Usually when my teammates do that, I just yell ole and they just like, shut up, it's not funny. Aww. But, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I needed that when it happened. Gotta I make I jokes. Because <laughs> like, you gotta pick your teammates up on some of those moments. Like you can't just be mad about that. So. True. Growing up, who were some of your idols? Um, I actually really looked up to Candace Parker when I was growing up for basketball. I also, like, weirdly enough, loved Mary Kane Ashley growing up. <laughs> Alright, got some, some fun questions here. Yeah. Favorite ice cream? I'm vegan, so I don't eat, like, dairy ice cream. Sorry, mm -hmm. like, non-dairy ice cream. Um, and there's this stuff that you can get, and it's banana ice cream. Okay. But it tastes like real ice cream, but it's made out of bananas. Who is your favorite musician? Ariana Grande. Great one. Um, Let's see, last one. Favorite clothing brand? Hmm. Yo, this one. is real tough. <laughs> I normally don't have to answer questions. <laughs> like, you really stumped me. If this is live TV, I'd see something like, mm, I do. <laughs> no, I'd come in and I'd help you. Like, for example, two weeks ago. Okay, help me out then. I was in Bethany. Uh huh. And we went to Marshall's. And Marshall's has some nice stuff in there for a cheap price. So. Yeah. So but I would like, have to say Bloomingdale's if it's that. There you go. You can do that. Great. Thank you for the bailout. You heard it here first. We went bowling, mm -hmm. played some basketball, talked to some of my friends, walked around the Christmas village. I had a great time. I hope Rachel had a great time. I had an awesome time. I'm sorry for the weather, but shout out to Overtime for coming, <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you guys again.
Why is she so good at that? It's crazy, I know. If you want to see more videos like that, check them out right here. And also click subscribe. Subscribe to the OT Vibes. We got you.